Forest fires are a common theme every summer in Canada, burning massive areas and leaving behind nothing but destruction. In BC, more than 1,300 wildfires occur every year, burning more than half the size of PEI. This affects Canadians through the destruction of our homes, property, and forests, costing more than $800 million a year. Help is needed in the wildfire fight, so our group decided to see what we can contribute. Welcome to our mechanical engineering capstone project. We are Group 13, and our project is the Firefighting Drone Water Bomber, sponsored by Dr. Skylar Hinman. There are three main questions that we tried to answer through our project. First, how can a drone fleet be utilized to help fight against wildfires? Second, what would their role be? And lastly, what would these drones look like? To answer these questions, our group conducted an eight month project split into three main sections. First, we researched existing aircraft, drones and their capabilities. We also researched wildfires and met with BC Wildfire Services to pick the brains of the forest firefighting experts. Next, we developed the role and strategy of our drone fleet using a wildfire simulation. Lastly, we created a high level design of the drone using a computer algorithm to determine the optimal drone parameters. To complete the engineering design of the drone, different input parameters were investigated, including water payload, lake size, and wing specifications. The goal is to maximize the flow rate for any drone size. Between all these different inputs, there were a total of 30 billion possible combinations. So a genetic algorithm mimicking natural selection was used to efficiently optimize the best solution. Using the genetic algorithm, we successfully designed and modeled a drone water bomber designed to skim lakes. The important parameters in our design include a wingspan of 19.8 meters and a total weight of 1723 kilograms with 100 kilograms of fuel and 866 liters of water. Then we had two engines mounted on the wings that provide 222 kilowatts of power each and two water scoops on the bottom of the drone to intake water when skimming the lakes. To help with the development of our strategy, our project sponsor, Dr. Hinman, created a fire spread simulation. As shown in the simulation, the wind plays a large role in the spread of a forest fire and the burn rate. This simulation was used to understand how the fire spreads and determine an optimal strategy. As part of our research, existing firefighting strategies using aircraft were investigated. The first common strategy is direct attack on the fire, where aircraft are used to drop water or fire retardant on the fire to extinguish it. To apply the direct strategy, we use Dr. Hinman's simulation to generate a plot of critical flow rate over time. The red light shows the required flow rate to extinguish a fire completely, and the black line shows the minimum flow rate to prevent the fire size from growing. Therefore, a flow rate between the red and black lines would be able to reduce the fire size. The second strategy is indirect attack, which involves dropping water or fire retardant ahead of the fire to create a water line to contain the fire. To apply the indirect strategy, we created a program to calculate various drone parameters with the goal of determining the total time to respond to the fire and create a water line. For example, with a fleet size of 20 drones and a distance of 10 kilometers between the fire and nearest lake, using our computer program, we can calculate that it takes 2.2 hours to create a 10 kilometer fire line. Using our optimized drone design, we simulated the indirect strategy for different situations. Here we have an example of four water line simulations of different lengths and shapes. By controlling the water line length, shape, and distance in front of the fire, we found the best way to control the fire spread was using a 20 kilometer long V-shaped water line. The final model of our project is summarized here with our selected strategy, a fleet size of 20 drones targeting lakes 0.02 kilometers squared or bigger is needed to create water lines for preventing fire spread. Thank you for listening to our video. Feel free to join our Zoom presentation to learn more. The link is on our website.